Amen. I want you to imagine tonight how excited our Lord and Savior must have been when he decided that he'd come down and redeem mankind from sin. Amen. I'm told that he searched high and low. He searched the heavens and he searched the earth. And I'm told that he couldn't find anybody that was worthy to die for mankind. So he got excited. He said, I believe that I'll become sin for men. I'll take the curse of sin upon myself. Amen. And I'll become sin for mankind. Aren't you glad about that tonight? Aren't you glad that you're justified? Amen. You stand before God as if you've never sinned. But you know the shame of it all was that as he came and as he walked the streets of Galilee and as he walked the streets of Jerusalem, they didn't recognize their own Lord and Savior. Amen. I'm told that he came to his own and his own received him not. On one occasion, he even asked the disciples, who do men say that I am? Some said, well, they say that you're Elias. Some said, you're Moses the prophet. But he said, don't you know I came to heal? Don't you know I came to deliver? Don't you know I came to set you free? Amen. And I can imagine in my mind tonight, that if Jesus had been able to play the saxophone, I believe he would have got his saxophone out. And he would have blew on the streets of Jerusalem. He would have blew who I am. Who I am. Don't you know who I am? And I just believe that if Jesus was here tonight, he blow the saxophone something like this. Trying to get somebody to see trying to get somebody to recognize who he is. Come on, Brother Elmas. Yeah. 